Ooh, super strong blind. Okay, hang on to that. Reel down. What happens when we forget to land in that? Whoop. That is a dimer. Is this is freaking sketch addicts. Do not attempt. Highly advisable. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. Nice one. Nice fish. It's a cromer. He's so rolled up in the line. No. No. Hey, what's up all you addicts out there? Welcome to another episode of Addicted Life. Today, we're doing a little bank fishing adventure. We got Ben, we got Josh, we got Ben's son Lane. We're gonna be walking this small little river here and seeing if we can find some steelhead. So come join us along on our journey. But first off, if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget, tap that little subscribe button down here. We like to basically travel around the world, bring you along on our adventures, but we also do a lot of educational pieces. So if you're looking to learn how to fish, and learn new techniques, especially about salmon and steelhead. Tap subscribe. Now let's go catch some fish. All right, addicts. The goal here is we want to get Lane a couple fish. Lane's caught some steelhead, but he hasn't caught near as many as us, and we're just trying to get him just as addicted as we are. So as he grows up, he becomes an advocate for our sport. So hopefully he can hook some fish today. Wish him luck. Dude, look at that freaking Cronus. That bald stick right there. Get on the far side seam of there, and then like you're fishing this side seam, get on the far side seam and you're in a current, so keep your line up off the water a little bit more, but keep your bail open so you can let your bobber run through. Okay, stop it. One thing you want to remember, Axe, when you're out here bank fishing, try to be super cognizant of just everything around you. There's always like overhanging trees and stuff behind you and above you. Just make sure you're paying close attention when you're casting because the last thing you want to do is snag in the tree or whatever. It's really annoying. It never happens to us. It happens no matter what you do. <laughs> it's going to happen, but the more aware you are, the less it's going to happen for sure. And then if you want, you could just plunk, you know, just set your rod out and just let your bobber just, let your bobber just swing right here. Was in there. I did saw that the first time you went through. What happened? His bobber bounced when he went through there the first time. Must have done it again. I don't think it was bothering me. It looked kind no, of no, it's fishy looking, but I think it's snappy. trout. Kind of snappy. It's pretty peck peckish. They may be hitting like that though. Well, that's, that's true. We weeks. found that out last well, weekend, didn't weeks. we? Yeah. So the plan is, addicts. The water's super low, super clear. What we've done is we've kind of parked one rig in one section, parked another rig in another, and we're just going to walk the entire river all the way down to the other truck. It's kind of a good way to do it, especially if you don't have a drift boat or a raft or something to get get down the river. You can bring two rigs, one end to the other, and cover as much water as you can. That's the plan today. Oh my god, that was a grab for sure. Tug, tug. He was right off that inside ledge, like right where it comes up. I mean, yeah, it makes it was an obvious tug. It could be though. anywhere in here. 100% there's a fish in this hole somewhere. Oh, come on! Sitting there. Come on, that was fishy. <laughs> that it was, was fish. obviously a fish because it went down <laughs> twice, but. Uh, that's what happens so when you're good. coaching the kid and you lose sight of your float. <laughs> Go on, that looks good. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like a it and then went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't rip it completely out of his face. I didn't touch him. So. Is that where it drained? Uh, further in the current. You guys seen this out there? This bait wax from Procure. 
stuff's money dude just give your give your stuff a little give your worm a little waxing super convenient put it right back in your pocket oh or in the water either one watch cast it over set my line up on the water like that see how that's fishing already yeah. once my, it starts pulling it it's one lift and back down and then you put your line back on the water make more sense yeah now try not going so far over because we got the far scene get the inside one yep fish oh my oh, god he oh. just had one i saw it roll yeah he yeah. just had one he set the hook on it and everything dude are you kidding me you weren't sure it was a fish were you yeah, because he, he set the hook a little half. He set the hook a little like whack, Ben. That was chrome, too. That was bottom. That was a chrome fish, Lean. It's a good lesson for all you addicts out there that may be new to steelhead fishing. If your bobber goes under, set the hook, whether you think it's bottom or a fish, because you just never know. And in that scenario, Lane saw it kind of like he thought it was dragging a little bit, and then it went under, and he didn't really like give it a good hook set because he thought it was bottom but then when he pulled back on it we saw the fish kind of roll two or three times and then pop off so there's one in there anyway. bring him in Ooh, super strong blank Okay, hang on to that. Reel down. Easy. What happens when you forget to land in that? Whoop! Easy. Easy. Good tip up. There you go. Woo! That is a dimer. What a pretty fish. Yeah, I mean, they don't get much better than that. I just came down here and finally found a spot where I could deepen out a little bit, and I just kept stretching, 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 and finally I must have put it right in front of its nose. I think that goes back to that testament we were just talking about. Just keep stretching your depth out and keep changing stuff, and uh, eventually you'll put it in front of one's mouth and get one that's not willing to move for it, but if you put it in front of it, they're opportunists. Look at that uh, sea lice there on her fin. A long tailer. All right, I think she's ready. I'm gonna go say hi to Marlon first. All right, addicts, we're about halfway down right now. We've walked about half the river from between the two cars. And we're one for two, not bad. Lane hooked one and lost it. Ben got a really, really nice fish, as you guys saw. So we're gonna keep working our way down, probably move a little bit quicker and try to find some of these fish. And if we can't, what we're gonna do is get back in the truck and bomb way up and see if we can find some fish up higher. So stick with us, stay tuned. And if you're liking this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's go find some steel. Sink it series, baby. Look at that, just in the in the light right now. Game over, Ben. That's the one. Are you kidding me? Your shit is broke. Yep. And your bomber I'm never came. Positive. That was a fish too, because it just. Ben, did you see that? So I'm. Long line in way down, way down into these dudes. My bobber does a little tick like Ben's did. Drains, I set the hook, and I whip Marlin in the leg with it. I got nothing. Broke me off completely. What the hell? My bobber never came back up either. T Rex arms, dog. <laughs> a little more. Oh, come on, you. <laughs> You gotta be quicker than that. Yeah. Ah. Damn. I've like pulled a muscle trying to do that one time. <laughs> there, I couldn't get her out.
fix. That was a fish. <laughs> I saw it. Get back in there. I literally saw the fish. I saw that fish come in from the depths, freaking Ben, and eat his. Like I saw it come all the way over and eat it. I was set pretty deep, but I don't know. He's feeding it. I just had a bobber down in there, and I don't know what it was. Sure looks fishy to me. Alright guys, we walked too far to only catch one fish. We did have uh, one missed opportunity for sure, but now we're gonna go grab Marlin's truck and we're gonna run up river because that's we got a little hunch that that's where a bunch of the fish went. So check back when we're out there. more than anybody I ever know. But he doesn't eat very much when he does eat. He just eats like a little sliver. How's he not big? Mm -hmm. He's Dude, big, dog. Little Italian dressing here. Josh has got my water for me. Dialed in. Lunch time. And then it's steelhead time. Super tasty, bud. We need a biter. Watch your toes. Is this it? Is this the juice? I mean, we can. It's. I can see the bottom, but there should be something in. Oh. See that? It, Something took it. Must have been a cutty, huh? This hole is pretty money. Like, what the hell? Could be one in here. Get back to the truck and work our way back down river. Let's keep searching. It's drying so far. <laughs> Sean got that on me. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's the true test of these X rods. That's what I told Josh. I thought there was a trail right there. Well, hey, like I said though, that's a good test of those X rods because I just completely 100% ate crap on them. So if I hook a fish now and they don't break, I'm gonna feel solid. Feel real solid about them. I don't know where they're at, addicts, but we sure as heck can't find them. We're working hard. Come on. Where are the fish? So that other section that guy's in, that other truck was parked in can be really good too. So we'll just, Go hit that, and if we don't find anything, we'll freaking, I don't know what we'll do. Go home, I guess. It's pretty clear, it should be instant. If there's a fish in there, it's eating it. Yeah, we're, I don't know what's, I think we're just not finding them or something. I don't get it. Yeah, this high in the system, they should be pumping. They should be smashing everything that comes their way.
this looks juicy, addicts. This looks juicy, and honestly, I don't see any fresh boot tracks in the sand, so we may have a couple holes to ourselves. Looks like there's a nice one right there as well. Let's see what we can do. A little boily in there. Definitely has got some boil to the to the water, which I don't necessarily like. But never know. We're not finding fish anywhere else, so I'm gonna let it kind of see if I can get it to go down into that tail out. And I just have what I'm fishing right now is an addicted Sink It series jig in that like fluorescent pink with a white head pearl white head all right addicts what I'm gonna try to do here is as you can see I only have a little bit of an area to walk right here and I'd be super close to this hole and I don't want to walk up on this hole because of how clear the water is right now so what I'm going to do instead is I'm gonna cast up into the hole and just kind of bring that float down with me and hope for the best Let's see what happens. And as you can see, when you're doing that, you need to kind of reel up your slack as it comes towards you. So you're gonna cast up into that current, and then as that float starts coming towards you, you just start reeling. Just reel up all that slack that's coming towards you, because if your bobber goes under, you're gonna need to be able to set the hook. I am getting unlucky. Okay, I got some decent casts in there, Addicts. Now I'm just gonna kind of sneak my way up these rocks here and try to get some better casts in there because you're not presenting it perfectly. Uh-oh, I can see. Oh, maybe that's just deer prints. Nope, definitely someone's footprint right here. So someone's fished this today, which sucks, but that's all right. That's all right. You never know. Huge boulders right in front of it. What a cool looking hole. Looks like there's another hole right there too. Up river. We're gonna put this worm, let it, I'm gonna let it just, I'm gonna cast up in there and let it just fall down into the bucket. Hope for, hope we can dig one out of there. Come on fish. We're working hard for you. It's tough fishing, addicts. They don't want the worms, they don't want the jigs, they don't want the beads, they don't want spinners, they don't want spoons. They don't want nothing. I need to figure out how I'm gonna get up to this other hole now. I think I can cross right in this tail out. A little bit deeper than I like, but it's not too fast, so it's all right. Yeah, that looks juicy. Let's hope this one will finally give us a fish, addicts. But again, we're freaking running into that same situation where you can't really fish the hole without being seen. Well, first of all, I'm gonna fish that other bucket against that wall, because that is what looks really freaking good. Right in there, come on. Give me one. There he is, fish on, fish on. Nice one, nice fish. It's a cromer, he is running. Fish on baby, finally. It is a nice one on the addicted worm. Oh, he's rolling up bad in there. Hopefully I don't lose him. Oh, he's so rolled up. He's so rolled up in the line. No, no. All right, I think I got him unwrapped, guys. He's coming towards me now. He was up in that riffly stuff, like up in the riffle. Oh, he's a nice one. He's a cromer. He's a dimer. Look at him. What a beauty. Beautiful fish. We're going to try to land her here and keep her in the water, guys. Beautiful fish. I saw it, Barry. I mean, it was up in, like way up 
way up in the current right there. Oh, she's pretty much done. She's ready to be landed. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Let's see if I can bring her to me. Okay, so I'm gonna have to kind of pull her. I'm gonna have to high stick it a little bit here, guys, but I'm gonna do it just because. Oh yeah, what a pretty fish. There she is, the addicted worm. Let's get that thing out of there. Hold on, sweet lady. <laughs> she wanted bye-bye. See ya. Caught that on the old addicted worm. So now what I'm gonna do, as I can tell, that it looks like there's another hole on this bank. So I'm gonna try to cross the river again here in this tail up. And see if I can get up. Yeah, it looks like up against that wall right there. It looks super slow. It looks like a hole to me. This tail is gonna suck to cross though. Big rock. Big rocks are always the hardest to cross on. What I'm thinking is I can hug these rocks right here and I may be able to get up on those but I don't know depends on how deep it is in here yeah maybe not it's too deep it might be kind of sketchy to try but I could try to scale these rocks it almost looks like you could do it that's sketch though I think instead what I'm gonna do I think I can get up right here I gotta make I gotta I gotta try I'm gonna try to get up right here. Through that tree, I can see my window. Hmm. I almost need to go that way, actually. I'm gonna have to. Okay. Oh, I just gotta get my fing rods. Oh shit, they're about to fall. one of them the other one is highly stuck and I'm on a cliff what a sheet show right now boys okay cut that off all just to get into a hole addicts oh my god there went my float well that was a big fat pain in my butt Oh, I can see my float. My float's just in that back eddy. This is freaking sketch addicts. Do not attempt. Highly advisable. Just don't do this, addicts. Just to try to get to a steelhead hole. I'm crazy, but sometimes it ain't worth it. And I don't really like that I'm coming right down on top of the hole right now, but. I saw an opportunity to come down here and grab my float. I ain't gonna let the river take it today. Oh no, come here. Come here. Oh, gotcha. That was a bitch addicts. Got my float back though. In that yeah. back eddy. Felt like the blade just stopped blade running and came and it like it clacked up coming out. Yeah, there should be 200 steelhead stacked in here. Literally like holy water. Yeah, like you ever see a picture in like somewhere steelheading, like it could be right here in this hole. Jeez. Old stuff. cedar trees and nasty moss and cool stuff like that. Little ferny girl in there hanging. <laughs> Was it first cast through the holes? No. You had to dig them out? No, I had to definitely dig them out. Yeah. Huh getting deeper and deeper so I was one for two while we split up addicts one of them was like freaking so chrome and nice and it just destroyed me you know how big that one was I never saw it and it was in like a hole that was like that deep. dark like deep and green and my float was just going through there slow and it drained and I set the hook and I was like snag and then it went boom, 
and then it just went, the whole time it just stayed down there and never it never came up i never saw it those ones are normally the ones that you're like the they ones. haunt you yeah they really do yeah i don't know what happened like i got a really good hook set into him and then i just lost him well addicts there you have it it was kind of a grind of a day i was surprised i was surprised too i think a lot of it has to do with that really low clear water conditions but i don't know yeah i mean it was tough I was expecting to get way more fish down yeah, actually, down there lower the where we were at. So what I we were in there by ourselves. We fished a whole section down over by ourselves where actually Cameron's been doing really good the last couple weeks. So yeah. we don't know what happened to those fish. Maybe that little bit of rain, they freaking jetted all the way up. Who knows? But we tried. It was still fun. We freaking got, we were, let's see, Three. two for four. Two for four total. So that's a damn good day of steelhead in, in most people's eyes. So thank you again so much for tuning in. Lane, you're going to have to land yours next time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we appreciate you. Make sure you smash that thumbs up if you're liking these Addicted Life episodes. We'll see you guys on the river. See ya.